It's been a long time coming. This has been a, uh, a big project here on Sutter Street. It is finally, finally getting close to open. They're going to open next month. So February 2020 is when the planned opening is for the public. This is a pre-opening right now. So you're, you're actually getting a sneak peek into the new Willamette Wine Works. So come on up here. All right, so we're here actually right now with, uh, your, your name is Christine. Yes. You're with Willamette. I am. Okay, so what is your role? I'm the winery director for Willamette Valley Vineyards. So I oversee our winemaking, our vineyards, also our sales and marketing. Got it, all right. So obviously the, uh, the winemaker himself is, is around here somewhere, the owner, right? Yeah, our founder, Jim Bruno, is here. He's signing bottles yeah. for guests, <laughs> um, and he personalizes them in clever, funny ways. So, right. But he's going to be over here soon to kind of explain some of the blending elements. That'd be great. Yeah, we would love to have a conversation with him. And, uh, oh, it looks like we've got the guy that built this building. Come on over here, Jerry. Hey, so, how are you? If you don't know this guy over here, this is Jerry Bruno. He is the uh, he's the man, the myth, the legend that's built a lot of the things down here on Sutter Street. Um, so you built this building, right? Yes, and I, I, I had the honor of I already knew that, building, I already knew that. You know, but what's pretty exciting, 150 years ago, this was a railroad roundhouse. Yeah. Built, you know, for the first train west of Mississippi um, to serve the gold rush. Oh, really? and, and some of the, what was the other exciting is one of the largest vineyards in the country, Natoma Vineyard Company, shipped grapes and wine and brandy out of here. And what's really? kind of exciting is Willamette Valley Vineyards has given a rebirth to Natoma Vineyard Company, and what you're seeing behind you is seven barrels yeah. of California-made Natoma Vineyard wine. And so we're pretty excited. When Lamp Valley Vineyards came down here, they just didn't come down here as an Oregon winery. They came yeah. down here because they loved the history, and they wanted to give Folsom's wine history a rebirth yeah. with, um, with Natoma Vineyard. I never right. knew that. How cool is that? You know, so a lot we of actually don't. Yeah, we actually so we actually had a wine a winery, a wine vineyard in this area, exactly. or they, and they moved grapes out of here. And if you look at American wine history and California wine history, mm -hmm. you will see the uh, the Natoma Vineyard Company brand. Really? Yeah, and it's very exciting. The Natoma Water and Mining Company planted two thousand grapes. Now they did rip them out, and they generated one hundred twenty-five right. million dollars worth of gold. Adam, it's a pleasure being here. Yeah. We came down for the uh, Wine Star Awards. Yeah. And we were fortunate to be recognized with our Oregon colleagues uh, for one of those awards mm -hmm. in collaboration in support of the wildfire victims. We made a wine from grapes that had been rejected. And then we sold that wine as a fundraiser. How cool is that? That is a wonderful thing. So if you didn't catch that, there was a big fire up in Oregon, as we all knew, and all of the winemakers and the wine growers up there they got all their grapes rejected because of the fire. They were afraid that it was going to be too smoky. And you took those grapes, you made them in the wine, you supported those growers up there, and you made a fantastic wine out of it. Yeah, and it was unusual because it was so large a problem. Yeah. And we had to organize many growers and, and wineries behind the effort. Never been done before. Wow. And you're the man. You're the, you're the guy that did it. Well, I'm one of the team that did right. it, and it was a pleasure to do it. I and love so, how humble you are. And so here, <laughs> we're supporting the first responders. Yeah. Um, and supporting the effort of the citizens by, uh, providing emergency services yep. in Folsom. And so that's cert, what, yeah, Folsom yep. cert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing here today is giving the people a sneak peek into the wine works and to raise money for, for them. Very good. Well, that, that falls right in line with what you were doing and, and the grapes and, and the fires that were up in Oregon and everything. Yeah. So we, we love our firefighters here, and especially our uh, certified emergency response team, which is CERT, and that's the uh, Friends of Folsom CERT is the fundraising for today. Is that correct? Right, yeah. All right. What do you plan to, uh, what do you plan to make this place? How do you plan to integrate this into Folsom, and what kind of community do you want to build around Willamette? Willamette? Well, we, we chose Folsom because it's, it's my family's uh, uh, home. Mm -hmm. My brother and my mom are here. Mm -hmm. My grandfather uh, raised his family here. Um, but it's also a perfect place for us to tell the Oregon wine story. Yeah. And also to show a California wine, mm -hmm. Natoma, and, and, and allow wine enthusiasts to get an experience in learning about wine mm -hmm. and a blending experience. So that's what we're doing here. It's unique, never been done before in this manner, so it'll be fun to do. I love it. So you can actually mix 30%, 60%, 40%, whatever you want to do. You can mix your percentages people with will, the different wines. People will be able to use this system to create their own blends, their own red or white blends, oh, so right cool. from wine from the barrels. 
So I see there's 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 notes here. So Grenache, Zinfandel, yeah, these are all Sauvignon, varieties. and and so the the uh, person will be able to choose. They're going to make a red blend. They'll be able to choose from among these uh, varieties uh, to to put a taste together or a glass or even yeah. a growler. Sure. Wow. So, but it's just a, it's a fun way for people to learn about what we do as winemakers. Right. Right, because yeah, what you get in the bottle is a lot of this yep. in the back rooms. This is your R and D right here. That's right. That's awesome. right. And so we're just bringing that experience out for the customer, uh, for the wine enthusiast to also kind of see behind the curtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Great job. I love the concept. I wish you many years of luck here in Folsom, and I think you're going to get a lot of support because we like our wine here, don't we? We do. So when you come in here, you're going to meet Laura. Laura is going to be the face of Willamette. And uh, so talk to us a little bit about what you've been working on since uh, since the floors got put in. Since the floors got put in. <laughs> uh, well, there's just been a lot since then. Uh, finally got our wine in here and, you know, now getting people in here. So yeah. that's the most important part. So Yeah, this would be a, an excellent training ground. I mean, the place is already packed. Uh, this has been a much anticipated event. Yes. Lots of VIPs here. Yes. So uh, you're going to get, you got your work cut out for you. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We wanted to have some of the community here to get a quick sneak peek of it, but yeah. uh, we also have a lot of our shareholders and owners here tonight, so a uh, very exciting opportunity. Very good. And the view is amazing out there. Of course, it's it's a little dark right now, but the view is incredible uh, off the balcony here. This is going to be a lot of fun to work at every night. The sunsets are absolutely amazing, especially in the winter sunsets right now. Yeah. So uh, as soon as our doors are open, we would love to have people flooding on that balcony. No, but this is a really special opportunity yeah. for me. I'm the winery ambassador, mm -hmm. and in addition to being in the tasting room with all the other associates, I get to do all the special experiences. I get to do the private tastings, I get to do the blending, uh, the events. Um, so is that where the private tastings are happening? Yes. In that back room? Yeah, that's let's, take a, let's take a quick look at that if you want to. Yeah, so this is the cellar. It's a little quieter in here. But uh, again, you have kind of the back end mixing station as well, again, with the cool steampunk style. And you can kind of just sit there and, and do your, your yeah, blending. So we could do a private event inside here, private uh -huh. tasting. We could do a food pairing. They could do a blending, a combination. Mm -hmm. But a private tasting doesn't have to be here. It could be on that balcony in the middle right. of summer. It could be at, around the fire pit when it's cool out. So right. a lot of great experiences. Plus, we also, I'll be doing. Um, the events for the wine club members, for our owners, and uh, all, many of the off-site events as well. So I have a really fun opportunity here. This is basically our proprietary blend system. Okay. It is meant to be really interactive and really tactile. Okay. Part of what, when we were creating it was, we wanted it to feel good to manipulate, to feel good to play with. Yeah. So when you get your hands on this and like try the style right here, try it for me. That feels nice, right? Yeah. Really responsive, the dials themselves really smooth. I love the aesthetic. It's very love Jules it. Verne, very 20,000 Leagues. Yes. It's just, it's meant to be inviting. It's a little intimidating, but once you start playing with it, once you start doing your blend, choosing it, yeah. trying the wine coming out here, mm -hmm. you can try each of the individual wines, all the seven barrels that we have, you can see right up here. And this yep. is our cellar room. So these, all these barrels are connected into each station. So you're mixing Correct. from every single Correct. barrel. So every station has all seven varietals available. Got we it. have stainless steel Sauvignon Blanc, Oak Sauvignon Blanc, Oak Chardonnay, Grenache, Zinfandel, Merlot, and Cabernet Sauvignon, all sourced from California grapes. It's our Natoma label, which is our California label that we're starting here at the Willamette Wine Works. Mm -hmm. um, when you are done tasting everything, you get to create your blend. So let's say, oh, I love the Merlot, I love the Cab, and I really like those two varietals together. We dial them in, and it should, this light should come on, and it should allow me to basically create a blend. When you come in and you make your own blend, you get to go home with a growler of your own. You get to purchase, a, it's a reusable growler. We are very sustainable friendly, eco friendly here at uh, Willamette Valley Vineyards. Yeah. So we have reusable growlers for purchase, and then you get to take your blend home. It's good for about a week to 10 days. Mm -hmm. And then after you open it, just like a regular bottle of wine, drink it in the next couple days. But, so we'll see the big blend coming out. You want to do it? You want to press the button? Yeah, I want to press the button. Yeah. All right. There we go. And you got to keep holding it, or is no, it... No, it just, just a one press, and it'll do it for you. Oh, okay. All right. So now this is creating a blend of what? Right now, I just dialed up the Zinfandel, but what okay. we can do is I will do a one that's pretty popular. This is one that a number of people have enjoyed. This should be 60% Zinfandel, 30% Merlot, about 10% um, Grenache. 
That's right. one that a lot of people like. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Well, I'm like dump that out. You can't dump out wine. Dump that out. <laughs> yeah. Here, go for it again. All right. Go for it. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna do it again. I, I press these buttons. Immediately. All right. Let's see. All right. It's pretty easy. It pretty easy. I can see. Spouts. Yep. I and do. I see the really streams. cool thing is when you have if you have all four ones going at the same time, mm -hmm. you get to see it coming out each individual one at different times because there's more Zinfandel. There's more Merlot. Right. There's only a little bit of Grenache. So it just came out real quick and then it was done. Based and on system, the percentages. Yep, yeah. The system does it all in the back end. This system is what makes us the world's first micro winery and in the truest sense. Oh, so you're, you, I was just going to ask you, who else does this? I've never seen this no before. No one does it quite like we do because yeah. we, are, we are a bonded winery. We're not a tasting room. We are a winery. Okay. These barrels are aging the wine as you speak. This is an unfinished product that the consumer gets to come in and be a part of. And until they come in, dial in their blend and then we create that bottle for them, it's not a finished product. So you have to come in, you have to dial it in, and then get the bottle, and then you've created that wine. It didn't get to be real, official, California blended wine until the customer comes in and creates their blend, exactly. And then you get to go home with your blend, with my blend, with the you know your yeah. anniversary blend, right. your Valentine's right. Day blend. And so you get to be a really cool part of it, and it's so much fun to see people Early on, they're intimidated. Yeah. They're not sure. They're kind oh, of yeah. pressing the button. It. They're really scared. Yeah. And then by the end, they're no, get, let me do. Oh, I got just a little bit. And they're taking notes. It's so much yeah. fun to see, and it's it's really exciting. Very, very, um, very interactive and hands on. This is for for all you wine nerds out there. This is gonna be. This is gonna put you to the test. To see how really good you are at making some wine. But David Brock, he is with the uh, Friends of Folsom Cert. Uh, this whole event is a fundraiser for what you guys do. That's absolutely fantastic. We're, yeah. we're very, very uh, excited about all of this. Um, we're uh, Folsom Cert is a, a group of volunteers. All live and work here in Folsom. We're very passionate about what we do, and uh, we love it when the community comes together to, to help us, to help them. Give us an example of what Folsom Cert does. So, uh, on a day, on, on a weekly basis, or whatever, what what would you be helping the fire department with? Well. Every month we're doing training, okay. and um, and more often than that. And then there are events that we go to, uh, the scheduled events uh, like the uh, California International Marathon, um, uh, Folsom Live, or yep. the, uh, the rodeo, yeah, yeah, yeah. where there's a bunch of people, and we provide first aid stations, cooling stations mm -hmm. for that, uh, so that the fire department doesn't have to have as many paramedics uh, on site for that. Sure. So we have those scheduled events like that. And then we might get called out for weather events, missing at-risk persons, uh, we're involved in that. Um, and then when big things happen like the campfire, uh, some of us were actually deployed up to that for a few sure. days yep. to help out up there. Great, awesome, great stuff that you guys do here in Folsom. I really appreciate uh, you and, and, and all of your volunteers and of course our, uh, our Folsom Fire Department. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Willamette Wine Works like no other place that you're going to find in California, but it's right here in Folsom. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to try some of these wines and blend them myself. And I think you won't be able to wait as well either.